Everything rises and falls on leadership. Your life will be a success based on or a failure based on your personal leadership. In other words, there's nobody that's responsible for your life but you. So what is the best definition of leadership? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to tell you because here's the sentence that gives us the best definition of leadership. And that is the ability to produce followers. That is why Jesus is one of the greatest leaders that ever lived. And I'm so glad that he is my leader. Amen. Can I just tell you, I like to follow the leader because I know who's leading my life. Socrates taught for 40 years, Plato for 50, Aristotle for 40, and Jesus for only three. Yet the impact of Christ's three-year ministry infinitely transcends the impact left by the combined 130 years of teaching from these men who were among the greatest philosophers of antiquity Woo! from the youngest to the eldest of us from the one that's been in church all their life to the one that's just getting now reconnected to church all of us have been given this one thing that defines what leadership is which qualifies every one of us as a leader what's the one thing that one word is influence the thing you've been given this powerful thing called influence because influence is what affects and directs somebody's life in a particular direction can I just tell y'all if you were to think back over your life every one of you you can say that some of the most significant points or times in your life some of the most significant events in your life was directed or affected by the influence of somebody else when you think about some of the best times in your life, it was because of an influence that was around your life. When you think of some of the worst times in your life, it was because of the influences that were around your life. Because every one of us will influence somebody. Sociologists tell us that even the most introverted person will influence 10,000 other people in his or her lifetime. Are you a leader? Word following. What kind of influencer are you? What kind of influencer are you? Here's what I want to tell y'all. Every person that's here, every person that God's given influence to, you should always say, God, help my influence, watch this, to make other people connected to me better and my environments around me brighter. You know that the rulers in this world, Lord, it over their people. In other words, you know people in the world, here's how they see leadership. It's all about the authority I got. Yeah. I'm talking about people that will use your life and they will take away from you, but they don't never ask themselves, how can they give to you? There are a lot of people that manipulate and use their influence for what they can get. And we're going to see that in a little bit. Amen. Rather than what they can give. And so watch this. You have people that stain and strain with their influence. People that use their influence for selfish reasons. When it's all about you, then the problem is, I come first. Everyone comes last. And it causes us to use influence in a way God never had it. So here's the chart that we have in our organizational structure when it's all about me. You at the top. Everybody below you is for you. And then everybody below you that for you have some folk below them that ain't for them, but they still. And then the people that for you who have people below you that for you they got some people below you that because it's all about you oh i'm glad you're all here today because here's the thing god wants you to flip the script because you are accountable for the influence that you got